welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Gina Polnev, aka Lil Ruski, and I'm literally just gonna hop right into it. So basically, I was having trouble figuring out what I wanted to film for this video, and thankfully, oh, last Wednesday at work, I had my very first Karen experience. This woman was absolutely psychotic and I felt like the only appropriate thing to do was to create a reenactment. So that is what you're about to watch. So first I wanted to preface the definition of a Karen because I texted my mom the day it happened saying, I just had my first Karen experience. And she goes, what does it mean Karen? And I actually never explained it to her. So this one's for you, Karen. As said on Urban Dictionary, a mother of three, blonde, owns a Volvo, annoying as hell, wears acrylic, currently at your workplace, speaking to your manager. I need a manager. I need to speak to a manager right now. Middle-aged white woman with bob cuts are not to be spoken to in any sort of tone. Yeah, so basically a Karen is just a person who exists to annoy and irritate society with their own subconscious insecurities and who are constantly asking for the manager even when they're wrong. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing four characters. I'm going to be playing myself, me, Gina, the host at the time. I am going to be playing my manager. I am going to be playing Karen and I am going to be playing Karen's husband. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to edit video so that it was like two of me in one clip at the same time, if you know what I mean. But I'm just gonna try to do my best. Masks, yes. So, you are required to wear a mask in all facilities, in all public places. It is a state order. It's California law. It's also an order in many countries as well as many states. The only people who do not have to wear a mask are people under the age of two, people with autism, or people with severe burns. We actually had a kid come into our restaurant a couple weeks ago. I think he was about like 10 years old. He had autism and he had cognitive disorders, so he was unable to wear his mask without freaking out. So of course we let him in, you know, we're not cruel. We understand all circumstances. That's not what happened here. This woman was just a bitch. So I am the host. Hi, welcome to Walkside Cafe. Are you guys doing for two? Hi, yes, for two. Okay, cool. Do you guys have your masks by any chance? I just have to check your temperature and you also need to have a mask whenever you're walking in and out of the restaurant. Once you're at your table, you're more than welcome to take it off, but you do need to have a mask when you're walking in and out of the restaurant. Oh, um, is this a mask? No, that is not a It's not a mask? Well, that's not what I asked. Is this a mask? No, ma'am, you are required to wear a mask inside. I'm covering my face, though. You are required to have a mask inside to walk into the restaurant. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, hey, babe, you can wear my mask. Okay, great. I have a mask right here in my pocket for you. Right over here, you can wear my mask. Okay, great. So I have a mask now. I have a mask now. So, do you have two masks by any chance, sir? Oh, uh, He is medically exempt from wearing a mask. He does not need to have a mask inside to come into your restaurant. Thank you. You both are required to- So, for two. Oh, well, he's medically exempt from wearing a mask, so he actually does not have to wear a mask. Oh, okay, sorry. Unfortunately, ma'am, you cannot be medically exempt from wearing a mask. <laughs> Did you really just assume his medical history? I'm not assuming your husband's medical history. This is just a fact. Do you know my husband's medical history? I didn't think you did, okay? I need a manager. I need to speak to a manager right now. I'm not assuming your husband's medical history. I'm just letting you know what the rules are. Uh, if you feel like you can't wear a mask, then you're more than welcome to go somewhere else, but no mask, no entry. It's set all over right here. Thank you. He's in medically exempt. He does not have to wear a mask. I need to, I need to speak to a manager right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. She just assumed your medical history. Okay, no worries. I'll go grab my manager, all good. This is unbelievable. Oh my God. 
Hi, I'm the manager. What seems to be the problem over here? Yeah, we have two problems here. First of all, your little hostess over here mm -hmm. is incredibly rude and disrespectful and was assuming my husband's medical history. Second of all, he is medically exempt. He does not need to have a restaurant in order to walk into your restaurant. Here is the government issued order. The government issued order. Okay, well, miss, unfortunately, like the hostess over here did say, you are required to wear a mask to come into the restaurant. My husband does not need to wear this mask. He is, in fact, medically exempt. Do you have any sort of proof or anything? The government issued orders right here. I am me now. I'm minding my own business. I'm listening to what this woman has to say to me, even though she sounds psychotic. To myself, I start giggling and I'm like, you can't be medically exempt from wearing a mask. <laughs> and the second I said that, the second I said that you can't be medically exempt from wearing a mask, this woman flips on me and freaking goes crazy. This is, this is that part. <laughs> well, ma'am, it's impossible to be medically exempt from wearing a mask, especially if it's a $1 fabric mask. You shut your ugly fat mouth up right now. I've had absolutely enough of your rudeness and disrespect. You are absolutely ridiculous and disgusting. You are discriminatory, you're a piece of shit, you're fat, you're ugly, and I cannot you. This is absolutely ridiculous and absurd. You guys are discriminatory. Well, ma'am, we do have the right to not serve you, and unfortunately, we are not going to serve you. You can go somewhere else. Gina, let's go inside. Close this door. This place is discriminatory. They're discriminating. Yes, we really did lock the door and wait for this bitch to calm down because honestly at this point We literally thought this woman was gonna spit on us We literally thought this woman was about to spit on us because we were right here She was starting to get this close to our face yelling at us already like spit coming out of her mouth Mucus coming out of her mouth like I'm not trying to get sick I literally just got my job back and this woman's being a complete psychopath her husband was the one who was medically exempt He didn't say a single word. He was literally just letting his his wife be completely batshit crazy psychotic so we closed the door and she just started to film us and was yelling at the top of her lungs that this place was discriminatory blah 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 you know if he really was medically exempt and was like oh, literally all they had to do was this and then we would have let them in like this is hi miss um we're looking for a table for two i do have my mask on yes my husband's actually medically exempt he has some medical symptoms i know there was a government issue state that stated people who are medically exempt do not have to wear a mask i also do have a note from his doctor i completely understand if you guys are still not permitting him to come inside i would love to take a to-go order if that's possible you could take it with me i do have my mask i'm um, unfortunately though he's not able to wear his mask here's this um let me know if all is good if that's what this woman said you know what i would have let her come in because that is a normal decent human being who takes care of his husband who respects her husband who one who doesn't want to yell out at the top of her lungs that her husband is disabled and that he's medically exempt no she's politely just asking us to medically exempt him fine you know what i would have totally let her in but it's the rudeness it's the attitude for me it's the disrespect for me. It's the not caring about servers and other people for me. It's the selfishness for me. If your husband is medically exempt from wearing a mask, your husband should not be outside. If your husband is higher up on the ladder of potentially getting sick, you are a selfish piece of- I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, the editing of this video is probably gonna be complete trash. I sincerely apologize for that, but I did really want to film that video because this woman was psycho and I didn't have anyone else to help me film or play the character so i had to play them myself but yeah that's so that's like literally what happened this woman was just being completely psychotic and re refused to let her husband wear a mask if you don't have your mask we sell masks for one dollar so she could have easily gone him in anyways and you, all you have to do is wear the mask to just walk around in the restaurant once you're at your table take it off it's literally 30 seconds of your life that you have to have this mask on and that's it and then you're done but no she decided to create a problem and so i'm not gonna be posting your name from your facebook 
Facebook post that you posted about me saying that I'm a piece of shit. Even though I'm like the kindest person ever, no cap. But yeah. Try to sue us. I dare you. Try to sue. She even started tagging all her friends in the little Facebook post and was like, look at this place. F this place. They're discriminatory. <laughs> You're discriminatory. Server lives matter too. Thank you so much. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment your Karen experience. And yeah, bye. <laughs>